everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. And today I'm going to introduce division to you with some really easy strategies. And I thought it would be fun to learn about it in Minecraft. And what a fun place to do our learning in. So I'm wanting to share some supplies that I've collected with four of my friends who are wanting to build cabins here. And so I'm going to be sharing some oak logs. Ah! So clearly they need to start building these cabins soon to keep themselves safe. So I'm also going to be sharing iron ingot, torches, and oak planks. You might be wondering what division has to do with all of this. Well, you're going to find out. My friend Aaliyah, my friend Jacqueline, Javier, and Sarvesh are going to help us learn about it. All right, so before we start tackling this problem, we need to just think about what division actually is. So if you think about sharing something with some friends, you're dividing because you are separating something into groups. So that's what division is all about. It's separating a larger number into a certain amount of groups. And so then you take a look at what is in one of the groups to find your answer. So let's show you with this example of 16 divided by four. So 16 broken up into four groups. All right, so I always like to start with drawing circles to represent my groups. I just feel like that's one of my easiest strategies so I can really understand what's going on. So I'm going to draw four circles. Okay, and I know I have 16, so I'm going to start drawing dots in each circle to show the 16 being separated out into groups. Okay, so let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, great. So we separated all sixteen into the four groups. All right, so the other thing we need to know is that division is all also all about equal sharing. So we want to be fair to these four friends. We wouldn't want to give one person a bunch and then one person just one. So it has to be an equal sharing. And it looks a lot like multiplication. So you might recognize this from when you've been working on multiplication where the groups look equal. Okay, so let's take a look at these groups. I, I divided 16 between the four friends. How much does each friend get? All right, you got it. They got four. So then I'm going to write the problem down below the circles. So 16 divided by four. What do you think that equaled? What did we count in one circle? Okay, great. Four. And another way to kind of check your work is to think about fact families. So if you haven't thought about that before, a fact family is a group of three numbers that go together. So 16 divided by four is four. What do you think four times four is? Four groups of four. Oh, and you know what? It looks like our picture shows that. I'm seeing four groups of four. So what do you think? What's the total amount of dots? Okay, awesome. It's 16. So do you notice how those numbers go together? They're all part of the same fact family. Great job. All right, so now that we've solved that problem, I can give each of my friends four oak planks.
All right, let's head back into Minecraft for the next problem. All right, I think you're getting the hang of this. Let's try this next one, 24 divided by four with the same strategies. So let's draw our circles. How many circles do you think we need on this one? Okay, you got it, the same amount because there's still four friends. So we are uh, needing four circles to show those four equal groups. Okay, let's draw those. Now I'm going to start putting my 24 into the group. So just one by one, just like we did the last problem until I run out. Okay. So let's, you can do it with me at home too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Sometimes I like to stop and ask myself, should I keep going? Okay, yeah, because I still have more, right? Okay, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Should I keep going? Yep, almost done. 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, awesome. We have just separated all um, of our dots into the groups, and now we can start thinking about what problem we just did <clears throat> and what the answer is. So we took 24, I'm going to write that down, and we divided or separated them into four groups. So we divided by four. And now to get that answer, do you remember what we do? How do we know what the answer is? Okay, you might be remembering that it's something to do with counting up one group. So let's try that. What's in one group? Okay, I'm getting six. So that must be the answer because I took 24, I separated it out, and I just want to know each group or one group. So 24 divided by 4 equals 6. Let's check our work, though, with something that's really familiar. So if I think about that fact family, then I can look at my picture and think about what multiplication problem does that look like? Let's look at it again closely. Okay, so I have four groups, so I'm going to put four times four groups of six, and uh, then I'm going to put my equal sign, and what is the total of that? What is four groups of six? Okay, you got it. If you count up all those dots, you have 24. Awesome, those go together perfectly and we did another great problem. All right, awesome. So now I know that each of my friends, get out of here, creeper. Each of my friends needs six iron ingots. All right, this next one sounds a little tricky, but I think that this strategy will help us a lot. So we have 36 and we need to share it between the four friends. So let's draw those four circles again. And this time we just have a lot more to separate. So let's just dig in and get started. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Should I keep going? Okay, yep, I got to go until I get to 36. Okay, so 25, 26, 27, 28, 
29, 30, 31, 32, I'm getting close, 33, 34, 35, 36, yay, I got to the end. So I can stop there and now I can write down what, uh, what problem I just did. So what do you think? Um, now that we've done a couple problems, what division problem do you think I just solved? Okay, you might be thinking, well, you started with 36 total and we divided it or separated it by four because we had four friends. And then now we just need to count up each group to find the answer. What did each group get? Okay, you got it. It takes a little longer to count all those dots, but it's nine. Great job. Now let's take a look at the fact family. Can you think about what multiplication problem goes with this division problem? All right, I think you're catching on. I think you're thinking about that there's four groups of nine. There's nine in each group. And let's count them all up. How much is the total? Awesome, 36, good job. All right, now I know that each of my friends can get nine torches for their cabins. That'll be so nice. All right, we are doing awesome and we're on the last one. So now I have 44 and I need to separate it into those four groups again, those four friends. And so let's get started. How many circles should I draw? Okay, you, you're used to it, four circles when we're um, dividing by four. And this one is the biggest number that we've separated into groups. So it's gonna take a little bit longer to do all of the dots, but it is definitely worth it because it's such a good, easy strategy to start with. Okay, so I have 44. Let's just keep going until we get to 44. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Can I stop? You're right. We got to keep going to 44. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, yay! Okay, we finished. Now we just have to build the problem. What division problem did we just do? Okay, you're right, 44 divided by four. And let's find out what does each group have in it? Count that up real, real quick. It might take you a little while on this one but count them up. Okay, did you get 11? Awesome, so 44 divided by four equals 11. And let's try to find the multiplication problem that goes with this fact family. So take a look at that picture again. I always like to look at the picture and think about what multiplication problem does that look like? 
Okay, yep, it's four groups, four groups of, and then what is in each circle? 11, and then what is the total? What does that equal? All right, 44. All right, so now I know I can give Aaliyah and the rest of my friends 11 oak logs. Well, great job on these problems. I hope this was fun for you and that it helps you in your class or at home. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.